the data types that are available as part of DAX. One is the whole number. So the limited number of data types are available in DAX compared to SQL Server and so on. Okay. The one way it is good. Okay. So the, you have something a whole number, the decimal number, currency, date time. What is currency? Currency is a fixed decimal number. Uh, the, that is the difference between these two. So here uh, the Again, so the uh, the currency is a fixed decimal number, okay? So it can represent four decimal points, okay? And it is internally stored as a 64-bit um, integer value divided by 10,000. So adding or subtracting currency data types always ignores decimals beyond the fourth decimal point, okay? But in simple term, you just remember this kind of a int. This is a floating data point, and this is also floating, but uh, you know it has a fixed decimal number. Uh, okay, and here date time, you know very well what is date time, date and date time are available here. And you have text data type and a boolean data type and blank. The blank is stored as NA, okay, and table, you have another data type called table, represent table in a data model, okay. So these are the 4 plus 4, 8 data types that are available as part of uh, DAX. Next, we will take a look at uh, the operators in DAX, like other programming languages, right? The operators also more or less same here also. The arithmetic, comparison, concatenation, logical operators are more or less same. You know, there is a subtle difference between other programming languages here. Otherwise, it is more or less, uh, you know, similar to other programming languages. Uh, this one is addition, subtraction, and multiplication, division, this is exponentiation, 3 to the power 4 is 81, and this is 5, right? So, uh, these are the arithmetic operators, and if you want to take uh, exhaust, if you want to know the arithmetic operators exhaustively, probably you can go to the Microsoft, uh, you know, website, uh, documentation site, and then you can take a look at it. So, if you know this much, this is more than sufficient. And the next one is the comparison operators, uh, there's equal to. So here, the first name is equal to something like, right? So in the case of if condition, you, leave, you will check the condition, right? And then this is strictly equal to, okay? Number is equal to zero. True only when number equals zero. And false if blank, okay? So in that kind of situation, you need to use strictly equal to. Here I mentioned very clearly, right? So when number equals zero, Right, so only if it is true, you can write, and false if blank. If it is a blank, right, it will it'll become false. So in that kind of situation, you need to use double color, equal sign, and greater than, less than, you know very well, and greater than or equal to, I don't think so, you need any further classic clarification regarding this. The equal to operator returns true when two arguments have the same value. This operator, right, uh, does not perform any implicit conversion between strings and numbers. The, you know, the single equal sign. So a comparison between blank and zero or between blank and an empty string returns true. You need to remember that. For example, you have a column. Uh, let's say you have a column name, customer name, right? And the customer name uh, is equivalent to blank. You can check it, okay? If, you know, that one will return true. If that has, if the customer name has blank value in it, okay. Alternatively, you can use, you know, double code. For example, I just go and uh, show you this one so that you'll be able to understand. So I just directly go here and I'll show you here. Oh yeah, the best one is this one. This is the classic example. If you see here, we have two, four, six, eight, nine records are there. And here we have you know, empty values there, right? Empty values there. So empty or blank values there. So in that kind of situation, for example, I just go here and I create a new column, calculated
okay if you see here uh, the last record it is not doing anything here right it is not doing it simply even though i put empty here okay let me just do one thing i just yeah you are not supposed to leave a space in which so i purposefully did this for you people to most of them they make this mistake to check whether empty string is there in a column right you you need to use double quote four double quotes okay double quote double quote in between don't give any space okay so this condition is true hence it uh, replace this blank value by empty okay either you can use this one okay or else what you can do is you can say blank or let's you know if this is equivalent to blank function this is one way of doing it the other one is we have something called blank function is available so in that case what you do is you put whatever you want it right so you can do this or you can put blank itself usually we don't specify empty just for illustration purpose i use it look here even in this case it is working fine it checks if the customer name column has the customer name column has blank values in it here if 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 it is there replace that with some value here empty instead of that i am going to say blank i am going to say blank if any blank value is there replace it with blank itself okay so that if i want to some kind of uh, count or something like it will be helpful anyhow i have a detailed discussion regarding this we'll come back when i start the aggregation function in today's session about this okay now you understood the types of operators right so equal and double equal sign greater than less than and all these things you understood and um the next one is the logical operators logical operators are pretty straight forward like in other function how you use it right the same way you use it here also okay and true and true is equal to true true and false is false okay and it's something like positive into negative right so positive and negative is negative only right positive into positive is positive something like that okay so the double pipe simple says or if you want to you know combine more than one condition you can use either ampere you know double ampersand in the case of and and if you want to use or use uh, double pipe and in you can use in okay the in is something like a logical or okay it creates a logical or condition sql query right the channel name in store or a uh, channel name in online or catalog all these three values related data will be filtered okay if you use in okay it is exactly like your sql query is in operator so you understood and or not is very basic uh, you know thing even college time uh, you know you would have learned about this one and importantly you should know about switch function switch function is very much helpful it is very simple and efficient function in dax okay if this is the one is help us to write multiple if statements in a much simple way okay so this syntax for switch is you know the switch function the expression value one result one and else something like that okay i'll just show you with one example how to write uh, this one at this moment we will just take a look at you know what uh, you know i just what these functions are probably later point in time when we start you know use the advanced thing it will be helpful for you to you know understand this one okay for example i am going to create a new column custom column in the fax sales so this is the syntax right um, <coughs> <coughs> for example i have the list price here so any value is less than something we we call that as in a low let's see we want to create some kind of bucketing based on the price column what do you mean by bucketing 
uh, i'll just show you now okay so high medium low price so if i want to do some kind of analysis with the low price what is the margin and with the medium price what is the margin with the high price what is the margin if you want to do an analysis in this dimension so you need to have some kind of bucketing based on the list price so here how do we create a bucketing so using switch we can you know do it uh, simply we can use uh, the if condition also here is the syntax the expression value and you know result one i just write it here for example so here i am going to say the list price so list price is less than 50 less than or equal to 50 see this is the less than or equal to operator and then what i do is i say this is the low low price and the next one is if the list price i want to define something like uh, the range of value between or something like okay list price is greater than 50 and list price less than or equal to 150 i call this as a medium look here here itself i used and so based on these two conditions right you say medium here only one condition i mentioned low okay so based on the with the combination of these two this is a medium complex price and uh, list price <coughs> is greater than 150 anything greater than 150 you call this high price this is called binning or bucketing something wrong error okay i think i pressed enter before i type the entire command here okay switch does not support comparing the value true or false types of type text oh, okay okay list price is less than or equal to greater than 50 and uh, fact uh, sales uh, let me do one thing list price right list price is less than or equal to 50 correct and uh, these two things put together we always good if we use parenthesis but anyhow we have used uh, the comma separator here it should not cause any problem expression value one look here this is my expression this is the value one and second expression value two and uh, okay does not support comparing two false values of type text there is type oh okay okay, okay. there is something wrong here well, let me just select everything here let me go and check uh, what data type is this one a list price it is whole number only right so oh it is a decimal sorry it is a decimal number it should be a decimal number very good okay then what is wrong here let me just yeah i think i already tried it for other batch okay low medium yeah yeah sorry this is not equal right so here you need to specify not equal i'll just explain you what that one is see if you don't specify uh, okay i'll just uh, first uh, you know I will show you how. So you need to specify true here because it is not equal. So what I wrote initially, it was applicable for equal, equal sign. Okay, that was applicable for equal sign. Okay, supposing you have something like, um, let's say you are doing uh, something like uh, this one. Okay, let's say I just take quantity. So anything uh, you know with equal sign okay if you have equal sign then this one will work for example here okay I just take this one I give some value here C 
switch function here i have uh, the location key location key so location key if the location key uh, is hyderabad Okay, this is enough in the interest of time. So in this case, the location key is equivalent to Hyderabad. Then you replace that by Hyderabad. So in this column, okay, column four. This is equal sign, right? By default, it is equal. Look here, Hyderabad, right? It will. So similarly, you can write it for other thing also. Okay, so if you want to map some value or you know something like that, right? You can use. So in the case of equal sign, this is equal. By default it is equal and supposing you want to use some non-equality operator like greater than or equal to less than or equal to greater than less than in that case you need to you know specify the first argument as true here so when, right so what happens is we are telling them hey it is true you proceed with evaluating these expressions all right so that is the whole idea so I hope you understood the true the non uh, not true and true kind of situation okay non so non equality and equality sign how to how to use this one so the it evaluates an expression against right in this case list of values and returns one of multiple possible result expressions that is what you can do it here and the okay now the and you understood the switch how the the effectiveness of a switch even in the case of uh, visuals right the switch is very much helpful you can compare more than one condition they similar to this okay you can create some visual and you can give directly green tan if the sales is more than something you can specify green else you can specify whatever the color that you want tan yellow or red right so you can specify with the switch anyhow uh, we will see that later okay the color changing and all right uh, with the uh, switch function how we can change it We'll see it later. The next one is the concatenation. Concatenation is uh, you know very simple thing. You can use uh, lot of functions are available. You have something called combine function, concatenate x function, and um, concatenate function is available. So in this case, we don't need to do anything here. But anyhow, let us go and take a look at the customer name here. I just uh, you know for example sake, I just put something here okay hi and yeah i just combine these two things for you people to understand right how to come you know concat usually we concatenate uh, the customer first name and last name in that kind of situation we'll do it but there are some situations will be concatenate uh, the uh, you know the order numbers with uh, the order dates and all okay something like that okay we'll put it in separate column for reference purpose they'll be using it okay I just create another column here for you to understand how to do concatenation. The simple concatenation is ampersand. You can use ampersand. Simply, you can do that one. <clears throat> and then, what to do is you do the next one: is customer type. So most of the times it will be something like the first name and last name will be there in the same column or it will be there in the separate column but uh, for postal right if you want to ship the items to somewhere right you may have to combine the first name and last name together so in that kind of situation this is very much helpful the ampersand ampersand and uh, I just in the interest of time I just copy this one because we need to cover many more things and uh, I just
here some of the lower function is available replace function is available as part of uh, you know text functions okay built in functions okay and here i just use concatenate function concatenate concatenate uh, the second one text one and text two okay so in this case uh, the same thing i think so but in this case we don't have to use uh, this one the column text one comma text two but in the text two what i am going to do is here again i am going to say i need to leave some space let's see what happens if i do this rename column okay i need to give different name because already i mentioned you know the same column here column two okay here it is not coming up and you can do some kind of uh, based on some conditions also you can do some kind of concatenation and column to look here here there is no space between the first name and uh, the customer type so in that case what you do is you can you can go for another concatenate concatenate function and then you say comma and this one and uh, you give one more thing here so now you if you want to leave a comma between this you can give or if you don't want to leave a comma or if you want to leave a space between these two name right you can just leave something like this give a space between these two so that you will have some kind of space between these two first name and last name the concaten is concatenate functions are very much handy in the case of um, concatenating the values based on some condition something like for example sometimes what will happen is you will have a product number and you want to concatenate the product number with the some kind of abbreviations right product abbreviations in that kind of situation it will be good based on which they'll create some key and all okay they create some alternate key something like that. in that kind of situation this is very much helpful and we have something else called the find function the find are uh, you using find function you can find out uh, the values for that you know we need to use some ca calculate functions that will take time and um, what we will do is i just uh, go to the fixed price sorry this one the price here list price is there right i just go here and we will take a look at uh, the new column will will create a new column i have a fixed function and here i just say you know i i just want to return i want to make sure that you know i want to to have only the two decimal places for the list price i say 2 comma 1 the one is uh, the decimals and and then the next one is 2 comma 1 8 if i two decimals okay you can specify like this and um, so what is one the last argument right it is just a you know logical value true okay so don't uh, you know display comma in the return text that's the reason why we are using one if you use zero right display commands in the return text so this is basically a text data type okay if you want to convert uh, this one into a text data type and you want to leave two decimal space and then if you want to remove the comma you can specify one look here the text data but default it is a text data so this is what fixed and uh, we have format and left len lower upper all these functions you can try it out what i would uh, you know do is uh, you know the substitute is somewhat uh, similar to the substring function okay and uh, and then uh you have something called uh, trim function trim is also very much helpful though most of the time we underestimate uh, 
the uh, you know the trim functions uh, you know the help right it is very much helpful okay actually okay for example here i create another column to demonstrate how to use substitute if you do lot of uh, text related processing so you know you have uh, you know options are available like uh, substitute search basically we do search and substitute and replace these functions uh, as part of text data type text data set we use these functions to do some kind of cleaning all the things okay replace the value everything so here i don't have any text value okay i just uh, say here right so i just for that you know for example sake i'm using it okay it doesn't make any sense location key is equivalent to the you look at the hyderabad and uh, hyd and replace it by hyderabad look here right 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 so so what uh, what is the syntax for this one so the substitute first you need to specify the text in our case the location key column is a text data right and i want to search hyderabad and replace it you know this is the uh, abbreviation right i want to you know specify the full name instead of specifying abbreviation i just want to use the entire name of the city right in that case in that kind of situation right you can use it like a substitute okay replace the old text hyderabad by hyd by hyderabad okay in one go you can do it so programmatically you can do it instead of going to the power query editor and replace right uh, that is the one you do it manually but programmatically how do you do that this is what is more important and uh, the next one is uh, you can do some you know search your text also okay and uh, search text uh, you can search some text okay within the text you can do some kind of text right so you can just try those functions and um, importantly the find search and uh, these functions are very much helpful okay programmatically if you want to find something okay and i just want to do some colon 7 huh? see here what i do is location key i just say location key location key and if you find uh, this one location key and um, else blank see you find the text hyderabad find the text you know you need to specify the text which you want to find it out so within the text which text you want to find out location key column you find out the hyderabad text and starting position 1 so first two uh, you can specify the starting uh, position and you can specify not found value right so if it is found one otherwise you say blank something else so blank if you find it you do this one or else you read you know return blank if it finds it will say true programmatically if you want to do some kind of you know you want to find something look here one so yeah if it is there you return one if it is one you know if it is there wherever hyderabad is there you put it one rest of them you put blank right some conditions you want to check and based on which you want to do, you know do some kind of text uh, processing you can use find find replace those functions also you can use it so old text and new text uh, right so using with, like i showed you in substitute right substitute also you can use it or you can use uh, the search uh, sorry the replace function also you can use it okay so find uh, we just played around with the text uh, functions built in functions right i hope you understood how to use uh, the the switch function and how to you know what are the uh, logical operators this is very important
and the next one is we will see how to define a variable in power bi so variable definition is very much helpful so, so that you know you can make your program right more um, dynamic okay you don't have to you can reusable you can create some reusability okay you can achieve your reusability for example i just create some variable here i just create a new column so how to define a variable so the variable var variable var name so this is the reserved word and this is the variable name. whatever name you want it you can specify it here on the right side you can specify use some expression for example you want to use uh, you know 2 plus 3 something like that okay and then return the expression so you can return the expression or you can return the variable also the variable name okay you can return the variable name so here I say column 8 how to define a variable var okay first you need to type var so that power bi can understand oh so he is going to create a variable i need to consider this as a variable so i'm going to say variable a is equal to 10 and next what i do is if you want to you know uh, i just i just click on this here so if you want to you know type it in the next line what you do is okay so you need to alt and enter you need to press alt you need to hold alt key and then press enter okay and then next one is return let's start with the simple one return and let's you know um, sorry not here one second you need to go to the modeling ribbon okay you need to go to the modeling ribbon that is where we do it everything okay you just go to modeling ribbon and just go to the uh, let us use the measure okay we'll create some measure i'll explain you what is measure and what is calculated column in a little later my measure name is test tst so this a into 10 what is 10 10 into 10 is 100 right that is the one will get stored here okay in tst so next what i do is i just click on one chord here if you wanted to see the value stored in tst the measure you need to drag and drop it to a visual only then it is visible here 100 see a into 10 if i click on this you will find it here so so the syntax is to define a variable right so you need to specify where the keyword and followed by this you need to specify a variable name the right side of the equal sign you need to specify the expression in this case you know just we assign the value 10 and return you know this value return so right so 10 will be there in a so 10 into 10 is 100 this return value will get stored in this measure you know this one okay likewise you can do it for example you want to use another variable right you want to do some kind of complex you want to use uh, the okay we'll do one thing okay i just simply say 
so you have used two different variables and you want to return the value of the b now so b in the case of b you have used the variable a right so the intermediate value whatever you stored it here you are using it here so instead of i write so you can do it this way also now i just press enter so what is written here what is written here okay uh, it takes a lot of time return is same as the functions that we use it in other programming language like python other thing right return or in the function we use return right return a keyword is used to return the value of uh, any variable that is there in the current scope look here the 10 got assigned here 10 plus 10 is 20 the 20 value got assigned to the variable b now we want to return <coughs> the variable this one so now you understood uh, the basics of how to create a variable okay and you can create multiple variables also for example you want to do some kind of testing right you want to do some kind of testing or something let's say you want to have some quantity is equivalent to 10 and uh, let's say you have something called discount right so you want to do some kind of calculations 0 0.02 0 to 0 to 0 point um, two zero, something like that okay and then So I want to store uh, this one, res1 is equal to another thing, right? Let's say I have some, uh, the, right, let me do one thing. I just define another variable, var, here I say the price. So price into quantity, you divide and um, so here what we do is 1 minus disk into quantity <coughs> the next one is so this is the one will give me the you know discounted right with including the discount what is the price now you want to return okay we will do one thing or I'm going to create another variable This is just for illustration purpose, okay. Don't literally go by the meaning, okay. And now, is it possible to return more than one value? So that is where we have a function called row, name one and uh, this one. So I just call this uh, output one, rest one. You need to make your code more readable. Don't put the this one. One second here. Rest to right. Result to something like that. Rest to and this one something like that. Okay. So now we are done. And leave some stab or something like that. Okay. Instead of so I just go and click on it here and press enter or you can click on this tick mark. Once you are done with this, you need to click on this. If you get error, you need to troubleshoot it. It automatically, you know, uh, you know, say, you know, tell some error message. With that error message, you can troubleshoot it. But in my case, the experiment refers to multiple columns. Multiple cannot be converted to a scalar value. Okay, in that case, see, when I have used the measure, right? Or rather, I, I could have used some table, right? So in this case, you cannot return more than one value. We can return only one value. So if you are using table, you can do it. We can return more than one value, right? So you have something on new table, something like that. 